Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Veggie Aussie Chick. Hey guys, there we go, sorry. Welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd do a video on some native Australian animals. Now, I think most of you who watch me know uh, some Australian native animals. I'll probably mention maybe five or six go into their lifespan and stuff like that. I should have probably included this in my Australia Day week videos, but I thought uh, I'll just do a separate one, put it up at another stage. Um, so when I think of Australian native animals, two come to mind. I think most people would know these, kangaroo and a koala. They're very much associated with um, our country. Um, they're beautiful animals, but I wouldn't want to come across a kangaroo or pick up a koala. Um, I guess you just don't know what they would, you know, are going to do to you, but they are gorgeous animals. And, um, yeah, so I'll talk a little bit about their lifespan, um, and stuff like that. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about are kangaroos. Most of you know what a kangaroo looks like, but there they are there. You'd often see these, um, like if you're driving in the country, uh, sometimes you might see them out in hiking spots, which I did one day. I wasn't actually hiking when I saw them. I was driving and I saw them. So. Um, kangaroos are the world's largest marsupials and can weigh 90 kilograms and grow to two meters tall. So yeah, you wouldn't want to come across them. They're almost like as tall as a basketball or a netball player. Um, no image of the outback Australia is complete without a mob of kangaroos hopping across the horizon. Um, kangaroos belong to the Macropodidae family. Sorry, I'm probably not pronouncing that properly. Uh, meaning Bigfoot in Latin. Well, there you go. Uh, we also have a wallaby, which is quite similar to a kangaroo, but they are different animals, if that makes sense. Like they're in the same family, but they're, um, they're kind of hard to distinguish. I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell between a kangaroo and a wallaby, but I think a wallaby is smaller than a kangaroo, if that makes sense. Uh, cause it's got here. What's the difference between a kangaroo and a wallaby? Kangaroos are sim simply the larger animals in the like, macro puss genius or something. Yeah. Um, kangaroos are famous for hopping and can reach speeds of 60 kilometers per hour. Uh, clearing more than eight meters in a single bound. So I kind of see where they live in a way. Uh, doesn't really say their lifespan. Anything like that. I'm sorry I'm looking down, but just see. Oh, here we go. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still recovering from this congestion. I know I keep talking about it. I apologize. Uh, da, 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 da. Average lifespan, uh, 15 to 20 years. However, in captivity, they can live for more than 20 years. The oldest, oh, this is a tree kangaroo, is 27 years old. Okay. So it looks like it's about between 15 and 20 years. Okay, so that's the kangaroo. Um, koala. It's Australia Day today, actually, and it's a very, very hot day. I went for a train ride into our Brisbane city. It wasn't that packed, actually. It was, you know, there's a few people in our uh, main mall, in the Queen Street Mall, that they call it. Um, but it wasn't too too packed if that makes sense i think most people have flocked to uh like a pool or a beach or something like that okay koala most of you know what a koala looks like i'll try and get up a picture anyway that doesn't seem oh there we go there we go what a cutie There's like, there's been kind of a little bit, I don't know if it's controversy or a lot of people um, who don't live here and don't really know much about our wildlife, they sometimes call koalas, koalas, koala bears, but um, they're not actually a bear like you'd find in say Canada or in a cold, colder climate, if that makes sense. They're not, they're actually just, you're just meant to call them a koala, if that makes sense. 
Uh, so koala's lifespan in the wild is 13 to 18 years. Pretty much similar to dog and cat, really. Um, on average, koalas live for 10 to 12 years of age in the wild, although females can continue to breed into their teens and may live as long as 18 years. Males are thought to have slightly shorter lifespans. Uh, and they pretty much sleep, they're nocturnal, so they pretty much sleep throughout the day and they sleep for a number of hours as well. So, um, okay. So I'm going to leave the video here, um, just get up some more information on a few other, uh, Aussie native icon animals. I can't talk and I'll be back. Hey guys, welcome back to the second part of this Australian native uh, animal video. Um, I'm going to mention three that I won't go into too much detail about, mainly because I've already done that in my bird video. So we've also got the kookaburra and the emu. Um, they're like just some native birds over here in Australia. Um, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that the emu is one of the only birds in the world that can't fly, but they can run a mile. Uh, wouldn't want to come across an emu though, but kookaburras are my favourite birds. I've mentioned that before, I just think they're gorgeous looking. And we did have also, there may be some still floating around somewhere, but um, Tasmanian devil, pretty sure they're all extinct now. I think I remember doing something in primary school or high school about uh, Tasmanian devils and stuff like that. So um, there are other animals native to Australia. Um, especially in North Queensland, where it's more tropical and stuff like that, we get, I don't know if frogs and toads are Australian or it's just, um, they're just in like really, really hot climates and stuff like that. Um, obviously we've got spiders, snakes, etc., etc. Uh, little geckos as well. I think I put up a short on a little gecko already on my channel. I'm not, I'm not sort of, I guess that scared of geckos or anything like that. It's more, or even like little lizards. We have little lizards running around, stuff like that. So um, yeah, there are plenty more that I'm not gonna mention and you're probably thinking, well, why isn't she mentioning them? Just wanted to mention maybe four or five different native animals, I guess you could say. So this one is a goenna. So that's what a goenna looks like. It's basically a goanna, it's just a huge lizard and they generally just uh, live out in very, very hot parts of Australia. I don't ever think I've ever seen a goanna uh, before. If I have, I can't remember it, but they are generally huge and long and just, oh my God, I just, no. Nah. If I came across one, I'd be like, oh my God, I just have, have to get out of here. <laughs> um, so yeah, goanna is just a type of lizard over here. Uh, it can be over 2.5 meters in length uh, and they generally live for 40 years. So that's a pretty long time. Uh, but yeah, I just, oh, I just don't like them. Um, so I'm just gonna get up another uh, native animal, sorry. <laughs> It's very, the internet's very slow in this room. We've got this room downstairs in our house. It's like turned into a bedroom. It's been a bedroom for a long time, but um, I find the internet's always very slow in this room for some reason. Um, so we also have possums. Possums are another native animal over here in Australia. They are very cute to look at, but again, wouldn't want to touch them. Wouldn't want to touch one or come across one. Um, Maddie, I think, well, she hasn't, really been in a fight with the possum but sometimes I hear her go Row, you know how they screech and stuff like that they're out so I was like shit has she been a cat fight or what the hell is going on and um a couple of times I've seen a possum out there and I've tried to get her to come inside so there's like no disaster happening <laughs> no no literal fights and such um but generally they live for between 10 and 12 years possums um, and they're from their head to their, or their head and body, they're about 35 to 55 centimeters in length. They have a very, very long tail. Um, I'll see if I can get up a picture. It's 
probably not going to work, so I'll just see. You might be able to see them there, so they're just some possums there. Um, so yeah, we get possums in our backyard as well, generally at night time, you don't really see them during the day. You see them a lot of times you know, on our roads, like, dead. Um, I know that sounds horrible, but um, I think they like go on the electrical wires and stuff like that and then they die and it's really sad, but then you often see like a dead possum on the side of the road and it's like, Ugh. oh my God, anyway. Um, and lastly, I am going to show you what a wombat looks like. I don't really have a favorite native animal. I think I might have said it in the previous section, but I don't particularly, I'm not really a big fan of stew animals, if that makes sense. Um, so wombats can grow up to 98 centimeters in length, and um, they're generally around 26 kilos. That's how heavy they can get, and they can live for up to 20 years. So this is what a wombat looks like. You can see those pictures there. They're almost like a small version of a um, bear in a way. So, um, guys, I think that's about all I had to say on that. Just sort of do a video on Australian native animals. Um, and as I said, I probably should have included this in my Australia Day Week videos, but um, I guess I just ran out of time and did put up other videos. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and that bell. Follow me on all my social media, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.